Hello guys, SmartPolly here. Welcome back to another video. In this video, I'll show you guys how to make a simple road using the landscape layer spline tool that can be really helpful when creating any sort of road, pathway, or anything on your landscape. It'll automatically adjust the terrain to meet the height of the road, and it's really easy and simple to set up. So let's go ahead and get started here. So basically I just created a blank third person project uh, with starter content and I'm just gonna create a new level here and delete everything, lighting to movable, light sources to movable. Then we'll go ahead and create ourselves a new landscape. Click create. Okay, and we'll go back here into select mode and then we'll just bring this player capsule up and we can delete this reflection capsule. Okay. So basically how it works is we can go into the landscape modes here. You want to make sure you're using any version of Unreal past 4.24. So either 4.24 or 4.25 is when this tool was added. Basically how it works is you go and select your landscape, go into the details panel, enable edit layers, click yes just save everything we'll save the map here and then we're gonna go into the landscape mode and then over here in your landscape tab you're going to see this edit layers we're going to create a new layer and we're going to rename it to splines layer basically you want to have your own separate layer for splines so that you can right click and click reserve for splines and then you click yes okay so now we can create our own spline Basically how we do that is we just click this on the manage tab, splines. You can hold down control on your keyboard and then left click. So just like that, you just hold down control and left click on your keyboard. And we're gonna create a simple spline or simple road here on our landscape. And you can hit control off of one of these points and add a little uh, road part coming off of that too. And if you don't want that, you can delete those too. All right, so now what we can go ahead and do is go to select all segments. And now we can add a skeletal mesh to this. Because right now it's just a spline with nothing on it. So how we can do that is basically, if we go into Blender here, what we're gonna do here in Blender is create a little road asset so go ahead and scale this uh, right about there. Six blocks long and then six boxes or two boxes wide or whatever units that is in Blender. I think it's two meters. Okay, so we can go ahead and go into edit mode by hitting T. Control R there to make a subdivide. Uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and go into wireframe and delete, select those, delete the vertices. Okay, and then we can select these two vertices and delete those ones. So now, as you can see here, we only have this side of our road. And basically, I'm just going to select these and then hit G and hit my axis X, G again, or Z. Basically to create a little curve to the sides of the road. That way it's just not a flat mesh. G and X. And then I'll extrude it one more time, down X, and then G and then Z. Okay, so just a simple little curve to the edge of the road. Then we can go ahead and go back into object mode, go to our modifiers, add a mirror, I'll apply that, go back into edit mode here, I'll delete these vertices and then just select these vertices by holding down shift and then click F on our keyboard to fill it just up like that. We'll go ahead and quickly unwrap this too. So, or just hit A on your keyboard to select all. Go in the UEV editing tab and then we'll go view, viewport top, click U to unwrap, uh, project from view. We can hit down B and select all that and scale this up to right about like that, G and X to transform this. Okay, so that looks about good like that. That's all good to export. We can go into our layout here. File, export, .fbx. Going to put this on our desktop. We can just name this road mesh, selected objects, and export that. Now we can go into our content browser. 
and drag and drop that mesh into our content browser. All right, and you can see here, if we open it up, we have this simple little road. Oh, and it looks like I did forget to add some smoothing groups to the sides there. So I'll go ahead and quickly do that. Let's go to Object, Shade Smooth, and then File, Export that again as FBX, Road Mesh. Now go ahead and just re-import that real quick. Okay, so very simple road mesh, nothing too fancy. We're going to go ahead and add a texture to it. So I'm going to use Quixel Mega Scans here. Okay, so if you search road up here, you're going to get a lot of different things. They don't have a road mesh, so that's why we're making one right now. Um, but they do have some asphalt textures. Okay, so I'm going to use this one right here. Okay, so we'll go ahead and download this. Okay, and then our export settings, we'll go ahead and set this to our engine version. Okay, 4.25. Uh, we'll set the installation folder here to Unreal Projects, Roads. Okay, and then we'll also set the project location to our Roads content folder. Okay, and then we'll hit export. All right, and then we have a road material here, and we can go ahead and apply it to our mesh. So just go right here and search road. And as you can see, we have a nice little road texture here. So now if we go into our level again, and we go to segments, make sure everything is selected here. We'll go under the spline meshes, add a new array element. This is going to basically allow us to assign a mesh to each spline that's selected. Okay, so we can change this to our road mesh. We actually going to need to go ahead and rotate the mesh. So we'll go back to Blender, R, Z, and then 90 degrees, and then file, export that as FBX, road mesh. We'll go ahead and re-import that. Save that, and you can see things are a little bit too wide here. So we'll go ahead and adjust, select all the segments. Okay, so I just set it back, uh, everything to one. I guess it was just a little bug there. But as you can see, we have a little road mesh on our landscape. You can see that nice little curve into the ground too. We can actually take one of these right here and press W to transform. If you pull this up, you're going to see the landscape automatically adjusts. And since our model is already kind of offsetted from the actual axis right here, we don't have to do anything to offset our road on our landscape. It's not merging or anything. But if you were to need to offset it, or select all the control points and then go into the mesh vertical offset. So I'll set this to like 30. The road rose a little bit from the ground so that you don't you know, have clipping with the ground. Okay, so I'm going to set that back. It's fine where it was. So really you can start messing around with this and move this down here, create whatever kind of road you want, you can go into the landscape, create some sort of valley here, and create a hill over here, and add more points by hitting control, and just clicking. So you can also adjust the sides here, um, like if you don't want it to be that steep, you can either do it for the entire spline, or you can do it for these two points. Shift to select these two points. We can go ahead and adjust the side fall off here, be something like 4,000. As you can see, it creates more of a wider fall off. That way, it's not as steep. But again, you can always sculpt uh, things out in a different layer, just not the splines layer, because this is obviously just for splines. So you can sculpt it out if you're, you know, creating a mountain or if you already have a pre-existing landscape, it's going to carve it out automatically. You can see our simple road that we made. And really you can do this for any sort of pathway or something that you want for your landscape. Like say if you're trying to make a dirt uh, road or like a stone pathway or something. You can do the same thing that I've done here for whatever type of landscape spline you're trying to make. So yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. Um, just a really quick tutorial. 
I'm going to be using this to uh, create some sort of little city level using that in kit bash Neo City kit that's actually free right now. So stick around. Maybe Saturday I'll upload a video of me doing some environment art or something like that. But yeah, that's pretty much it. I'll see you guys in the next one.